Hey, second graders. Welcome back. Today we are going to do module eight, lesson four. And today we're going to be drawing um, some more polygons. So you're going to need your straight edge tool again. And you're going to need something that, that has some color. So I'm just going to use a colored pencil when I need to um, for color. So maybe one crayon, one marker, one colored pencil. And then you're going to need your um, problem sets for today or just blank paper. Either one will work. So today we're going to use attributes to draw different kinds of quadrilaterals. If you remember that quad means four, that means that we're going to draw different kinds of four-sided shapes. These four-sided shapes are all going to have four sides, four angles. They're quadrilaterals, but they're different kinds and they're going to have different names that we're going to talk about today. You may already even have heard of some of these names. So I'm going to just use a piece of paper that I've been using this week. I'm going to put it up on my board here and I've got my straight edge. Let's get this clipped. And the first thing I want to talk about is, um, well, actually, I think the first thing I want to talk about is how to be able to measure and see if one of your polygons actually does have a right angle. Remember how I, the other day when I was looking at the one geo board, it was like, gosh, it kind of looks like it does. It kind of doesn't. Is it that perfect L shape? Does it have square corners? And so in order to determine whether or not your polygon has square corners, you can use a tool, something you have around your house that does have square corners. I just tore a little piece of paper out of a notebook because I know that when they make paper that this is right here. This is totally a square corner. It's a right angle. This one is two. These I can't really use that well because it's got that on there. But really, I mean, you could use this. I could use the cardboard here that has a square corner. I could use a, a post-it note that has that square corner. Anything like that will work for today. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using this to when you look at a polygon, you're gonna see, like for example, let's say this polygon here, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to tell when you put this, like put it in the corner there, and then if you look, do you see how that side is not straight down? It kind of comes out. Yeah, so this angle right here, that this, this is not a square corner here. This is not a right angle because you can start to see how it's, it's coming out. It's not the line, the side there is not perfectly straight in line with the paper, even though the top is, but this side isn't. Now, when you get to, let's see here, F, I can already tell when I look at F, F is going to work because when I use my square corner tool here, I can put it in there and you can see that that angle, this angle right here in this top corner, that is a square corner that is a right angle because look, the edge of my paper follows the sides there, just like that. So that right there would be a square corner. Sometimes it's going to overlap even the edge because when you look at, for example, look at this angle right here. That's a small angle. It's open much less than an L. And so when I go to try to measure it with my paper and I turn my book maybe and I go ahead and put that in there and maybe I do it like this, I can already tell, look how it's going underneath the paper. It's not coming straight down at all. It's like going back underneath the paper. So that's not a right angle either, is it? That's not a square corner. All right, so that's one way we can, a tool that we can use to determine whether or not we have a right angle. And had I used this on my screen, I would have been able to tell whether or not I had a right angle there. So that's what we're gonna use this for. Then we're gonna talk about um, when we draw lines. Get your straight edge tool here. And I want you to lay it, have it vertically like this on your paper. And I want you to draw a line here and then come on the other side of your ruler and draw it down the same amount. So when I move my ruler, I have two straight vertical lines, right? Well, these two straight vertical lines are what we call parallel lines. Look at the word parallel, P-A-L. 
R A L L E L. See the two L's right here together? Those are parallel lines. So that's kind of how you can remember parallel. It means that the lines are the same distance apart up here as they are down here. So they're parallel. Now, I could turn my ruler this way though, couldn't I? And I could draw parallel lines. As long as they're the same distance apart, the parallel lines could be going diagonally. These two lines are also parallel. Think of like on the playground, those parallel bars, right? That you guys like to play on. They're, they're the same distance apart at one end and the other end and they just go straight across. So we're gonna be talking about parallel lines today and we're gonna be looking at quadrilaterals that actually have, sometimes they'll have two sides that are parallel or more. So that's the second part of what we're gonna look at today. Okay, so what I wanna do now is using my straight edge, I wanna go ahead and I wanna connect, I wanna make these into polygons. So I'm gonna get it lined up here just like this and then I'm gonna Oh, I went a little too far, but I closed up my polygon there on the top. And then I closed up my polygon here on the bottom. Okay, using my right angle tool, I would find that all four side, all four angles are square corners. All four angles are right angles. So because all four corners are right angles, this is a special kind of polygon. And you know what this polygon is called. You have known this name of this shape since you were in preschool. This is a rectangle. So to be a rectangle, you've got to have those four square corners. Now, I know another shape that has four square corners. Let me draw that for you right here. This shape has four square corners, but it's got something a little extra special about it. So it's still a rectangle, but there's something a little extra special about it. Let me get it drawn here. So it's still a rectangle, but this one has a little attribute about it that is, like I said, just a little extra special. I want you to look at it, see if you can tell what it is. It's hard to see. Actually, I may have messed this drawing up. They're supposed to, you're supposed to notice that all four sides are the same length. See here, these two sides here were a little bit shorter than these two sides. So it didn't have all four sides the same length. Now this one, if we go around and measure it, we'd measure, hey, all four sides are the same length. Now, because all four of these corners are right angles, it's still a rectangle, but it's a special kind of rectangle. And you know the name of this shape. You've known this since you were in preschool. This one is a square. So it's totally a special kind of rectangle because it's got the four right angles, but it also has all sides the same length. So that's a square. All right. Now, Another parallelogram I'm gonna show you today is I'm gonna show you, let's see here. This one, I'm gonna use my diagonal lines over here. So let me show you how I'm going to connect them, okay? I'm going to see, I hope this will erase. I'm gonna erase part of one of my diagonal lines so that it's not as long as the other one. Okay, so that when I connect it, it's gonna kinda go like this. Okay, and then I'm going to erase, where'd my eraser go? Okay, I'm going to, well, I might as well, I'm gonna make this line a little bit longer here so you can see. And then I'm gonna connect this side over here. Okay, now, oh gosh, I still didn't do a very good job. Let me fix one little thing here. 
so that you can really see what I'm talking about. Okay, this is better now. All right, so what I'm wanting you to see is that this side here and this side here are parallel. Do you see that? They're across from each other. Even though this one comes down a little bit more and this one goes up a little bit more, they're still parallel, okay? Then I want you to look at these two lines here. See this side going this way and this side going this way? These sides are parallel. They're still straight across from each other like that too, right? So this is a quadrilateral that has two pairs of parallel sides, but it does, there's something it doesn't have. This has two pairs of parallel sides, but when I go and I use my right angle tool and try to measure, do you see how that corner there, that's not a square corner, it's too big, isn't it? So it doesn't have the square corners. So if you have two pairs of parallel sides, but you don't have the square corners, you have, I may be mixing this, mixing you guys up. This right here is what's called a parallelogram. I hope not. Okay. So we're going to call this a parallelogram. Yes, good. Parallelogram was in today's lesson. I hope that what happens is I keep wanting to teach you more and it's not supposed to be in the lesson. So we've got, right now we talked about a square, a rectangle, and a parallelogram. Now, what if you had a quadrilateral that had only one pair of parallel sides and you've seen this one before? So let me show you what I'm thinking. If you take your ruler, and you draw a short one here and a long one here. Now you can see these two lines are parallel, yes? Okay, they're straight across from each other. But if I connect them, because one of the lines is shorter and one of the lines is longer, I'm not gonna end up with a rectangle because remember, with a rectangle, these two sides have to be the same length and these two sides. I'm gonna end up with something like this. Now, we said these are parallel sides, but are these? No, there's only one pair of parallel sides. So let me write that on here, one pair of parallel sides. And we call this guy right here, this is a trapezoid. Oh. Okay. Let me bubble it in. All right, so today I was supposed to make sure I drew for you a rectangle, a square, a parallelogram, a trapezoid, one more, one more, okay? What if, this one kind of reminds me of a square because this one, all four sides are the same length, but it doesn't have four right angles. So let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna use my ruler to measure and make sure I'm doing this correctly. So I'm gonna have one, and then let's see, one inch here. So one inch, one inch, yep. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do one inch, and then I'm gonna do one inch. Now, if you look at this guy here, you can tell that is not a square because look, this angle is a little bit, just a smidge too closed. You can see this one here is, is gonna be a little bit bigger. We could take our right angle tool and measure. Look at that top one up there. See, it's too big. So this is not a square. However, if we used our ruler and if you went all the way around, you would find that each one of these sides measures one inch. So all the sides are the same length. Now, because all the sides are the same length, we're gonna call this one a rhombus. <laughs> Sophie.
coffee in. All right, guys, this is a lot, a lot of names of shapes and attributes for today. I realize we've been going a long time here. So here's what I'm gonna have you do. On your book today, I want you to use your ruler. I'm just gonna have you draw some parallel lines and some not parallel lines, I think. Oh no, I'm sorry, parallel lines that are the same length and parallel lines that are not the same length. Um, it's gonna have you highlight the parallel sides on your quadrilateral. So for example, if you had more than one pair of parallel sides, you might have to use two different colors. This one here, so I could say, all right, this side and this side are parallel, but then I also see that this side and this side are parallel, so maybe I would use a red. But notice on B, this side and this side are not parallel, so I'm not gonna color them at all. But I guess I would color this one and this one because these are parallel. And then it wants you to use your, it says use your index card. I didn't know if you would have an index card at your house. Use whatever you're gonna use to be your right angle measuring tool. And it says, put a box around each right angle. So for example, we already said F, this would be one. So we're gonna do that, okay? There's a right angle. Then it has you to draw a parallelogram with no square corners, okay? Like kind of like what I did on mine. And then the next page, gonna have you do a little bit more with your ruler and do a little bit more explaining. Okay, guys? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. You are learning so much geometry. I'm just really, I can't believe how much we've gotten in today. All right. Happy math today. Do a great job. Uh, I'll be, we'll be back next week. Okay? Bye.